Story is such an integral part of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. It's why we have the longest surviving culture in the world. It's our stories that have survived. This project is a collaboration between Hunter Water, the University of Newcastle, Newcastle High School and our local Aboriginal community. And it's an illustrated storybook that empowers the next generation to value water as our most precious resource. Water is obviously one of our main resources and we sometimes take it for granted because we think it's going to be around forever but we just waste it a lot. The students from Newcastle High School wrote the story. So what we have is a story that's for children, by children, and they're speaking to each other about the future of their water yeah. supply. The children, once the story was written, went off and worked with Studio Z, which is a work integrated learning project that runs out of creative industries. The main character is Eagle. He was trying to find out where the water was going and the kids followed the eagle back to their home to see how it was affecting their environment. And the eagle kind of convinced them to go back to their city and to preserve water for their community, basically. It's been really well received by the education community. Storic is very unique because it's bringing together kids to make those critical decisions about looking after Mother Earth. There's not many like resources really that have a lot of indigenous words. Yeah, like, language, even yeah. with me, I don't really know any words, mm. so I'll be using this book to learn some. Yeah. <laughs> Having people from community involved in the project from the very beginning, that's something yeah. that is very important for its success. Yeah, collaboration is a very important part of traditional Aboriginal culture and this project emulates that cultural perspective and that collaboration has led to a very, very positive outcome. A little boy can be like, oh, I want to be like Timmy, and if he wants to be like Timmy, Timmy's saving the water, he's like, oh yeah, I want to save water too. Because if they're children, they can do it, why can't we? That's the message we're trying to get across with the book.